about to react to baby young in this song called soul loose it's the official music video this shit just came out 30 minutes ago so let's get it my nigga in uh what's that the challenger Knew it, SRT. This nigga been a legend to me, dog. Anytime you can get on a song and speak your truth and relate to millions of people, because it ain't just hundreds of people that fuck with this man. It's millions of people. He got over, I think over 45,000 on Instagram, and then he got a couple hundred thousands of views that add up to millions. Like, the world fuck with this man, trust me. on my waist is getting cold soon a lot of y'all niggas not gonna y'all niggas ain't gonna pick up on that Hey, that second verse was so fire, dog. He rap a lot about helping his mama and his family, dog. And one thing I can admit, I want to do the same thing. I got an auntie that's getting older. She like 70 years old. She about to be 71. She been working since she was like 13, consistently. Like 13, 12, 13 years old, she didn't have a job. She ain't never been, she ain't never retired or nothing, man. And I just want to help her out. And that's partially why I do these videos, man. Like, I'm using this as a way to to hopefully come up on some money, you know. And she she always told me if she made $5 million or more, she might retire. So if I can get $5 million off this shit, it's a wrap. Scratched off in that bitch. I love fucking uh, challengers and chargers, bro. But uh, what was I finna say about the song, man? I fuck with this song for real. 
like <clears throat> my favorite one is still which one did I say was my favorite one? I love moments. And then I love the last one I did. Dang, I can't remember. Did I say I like the last one more than I like moments? I can't remember. But look. I fucking love this song though, bro. Like, for real. The shit that he was saying about his mama. And then the part about the I can't hold you. That's some real nigga shit. When you in a relationship or just any type of situation where you and somebody going back and forth and they threatening to leave you, you can't make the motherfucker stay, man. Unless you got some magical powers, chances of you being the reason why they stay or letting them stay or holding on to them so they don't go, that that's, that's not likely, man. But anyway, I ain't going to talk your heads off. This song was incredible. I fuck with it. I need to uh, download his shit off iTunes, bro, as a matter of fact, because I know he got one song on iTunes. I don't know how many of his songs he got on there, but I know he got one for sure, and I'm going to get that one, because I saw the... It was a song y'all wanted me to react to, but I can't react to it because he got it on uh, all the streaming sites. But I'm going to get that off iTunes for sure, man. Y'all go tap in with Baby Young. He shouted me out on Instagram the other day. I might put the clip in here. And uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Baby Young and keep doing your thing, man. And I like how you trying to squash that shit between Mo3 and, and, and Yellow Beezy. I wish more people thought like that, especially people like us, you know, Mexicans, blacks, the minorities. I wish I wish we had that same mindset of just be, being peaceful and being one with each other and, and spreading love and positivity, man, because we going against each other as people and then the white people already don't fuck with us. The racist ones, not all white people. But, uh... Yeah, man. I ain't gonna preach too much to y'all, man. Shout out to Baby Young and keep doing your thing, bro. What's up, Patrick? Patrick, I'm finna uh, drop a song every week, so be ready for the reactions, gang.